Hey now. Well, I'm driving right now. And uh, I don't really want to talk about where I'm going. I'm just going to my sister's. But the reason I thought I'd uh, make this video today is because in the valley right now, we are having a dust storm warning. Welcome to another episode. about 30 minutes really hard and um, then it stopped sort of at least where I was because it doesn't like continually rain everywhere in the valley we call Phoenix and surrounding Mesa you know all suburbs Tempe that's the valley so the valley so there was a dust storm warning in the valley and basically what that means is the earth, the ground, the heavy winds just carry it up and, and can blow it. You've probably seen it perhaps in, uh, in um, like Saudi Arabia videos. They have that a lot happen. It happens in Phoenix too. Not always so, so huge or gigantic, but it does happen. Um, it's not happening really right now as you um, kind of pan, let the camera pan kind of get a look I mean it looks like it might be raining it's drizzling but there's no dust happening at least not right here it could be happening somewhere else the valley's pretty huge um, but it's not happening here about uh, I think it was last year last year I was driving back from San Diego and there was a dust storm warning and I actually got caught in it it was it was pretty bad it's so bad that it's um, the, the most I, I can compare it to is being stuck in a fog, um, and you can't you can't see like three feet in front of you. You can barely see the red lights, the back lights of a car. What they tell you to do when you're actually in a dust storm is they say pull over, get off to the side of the road shut your lights off and just wait for it to pass and I thought oh okay I always remembered that so when this actually happened and I was in the dust storm here you'll see some footage of it I'll put it in right now um, it was it was I was actually the first dust storm I was in it was kind of scary and while I'm in it and I'm seeing the lights in front of me I'm thinking of this in the back of my head. Oh, these guys are supposed to shut them off and and you're supposed to pull the side of the road. And the reason why they tell you to do that is so that other cars won't follow you or think that you're moving and slam right into the back of your car while you're actually really not moving. That's why they say shut your lights off. So I actually did that. And I shut my lights off and pulled over and I could see cars crawling past me. And that kind of freaked me out too because it's like, you know, they, they don't see me till the last second. They could just slide right into me. <clears throat> Plus, when I was actually driving in it, I was using their tail lights to navigate because you cannot see anything else. It's really weird. It's, 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 it's very scary. So as I'm sitting there, I thought, you know what? No way. I don't like this. So I got back on the road in the middle of the heavy nasty dust storm and just followed the taillights and, and the other people were, were pulling over and I, I just didn't feel like that was the right thing to do I didn't want to do that I, I felt I was going to get hit <clears throat> it, it felt like a sitting duck so anyway make a long story boring story kind of not so boring I, I decided just to keep going because I felt I was going to eventually drive out of this thing or it was going to pass by and I just needed to keep going to get out of it. It actually was only really heavy, heavy duty for five minutes at a time. It would be super really bad for five minutes and then it would lighten up a little and then perhaps come back again but lighten up a little. So you did have some relief and I just didn't want to be pulled over. But yeah, there's usually rain involved and heavy rain. I remember this night also had major heavy rain. Really heavy, 
heavy rain. Like if you walked out and you'd, you'd be like, probably like having five shower heads, on, on, you know, on your body all at the same time. <laughs> There's no way you'd escape being drenched. So that's it. Just kind of wanted to tell you <clears throat> that you can kind of see what's going on. The other side, you know, I'm just going to turn the camera around. It's, it's, it, you can see the sky is dark, but there's nothing major happening. So that's what a Arizona dust storm is about. We get warnings on our phones, like Amber Alerts. And they just make that sound, you know. So basically, if you were worried, it's all clear, even though this video will probably not be posted till later. <laughs> So here's my exit. Time to get off. Time to get off the highway. So I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what was going on here today. And that was it. Wasn't really planning on doing a video right now, but this dust storm kind of came up and I thought I'd talk about it a little bit. If it happens again and it's real bad, we'll, we'll try it again. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Remember, go big or go home.